and welcome to another video today we are going to talk about guard clauses and we are doing that by using javascript to have examples of them basically a guard clause is simply a check that immediately exits the function either with a return statement or an exception and we are going to see some basic examples we have here this function that checks if an object a javascript object is a ferrari car and we have this nested uh, chain of ifs and else basically we check if the type is a car if the model is ferrari and then we return true or false based on that and then we have the same function but using guard clauses basically we first check our um let's call it the, the the false statements here we just check them and then if we pass all the checks all the conditions here we return true so the first step is to check that if the type of the object we are receiving is not car we return that is not a ferrari okay but if the type is car we do not return nothing and we check the next condition now we have the model if is not ferrari we return false but if it is Ferrari, then we go further and return true because it's a car and it's Ferrari. And as you can see, it's quite easier to understand what, uh, what is going on inside the function than by trying to read this if and else chain where you must try to see and build a tree for all the branches you can have, like for this if, for this if, and imagine a bigger uh, if chain let me explain you the rest of the exercise here basically we have three different objects the last one is the type bike so it will fail in the type check in the type validation and this the first one is ford and not ferrari what i am going to show you is that i'm going to validate using the is ferrari this one and the is ferrari guard clause i'm going to validate the same object and we will have the same output so let me run the code here and we have all the prints so these first three console logs are uh, these ones here where we are using the is ferrari function and you can see that the first one is not a ferrari yes because it is ford the second one it is is a car and is ferrari and the third one is not because it's a bike and by using the ferrari guard clause we have exactly the same result you can see right away that this is a better approach because it's easier to understand easier to read and also it has uh, less lines of code let me comment this okay and let's see another example here i just put another uh, level of nesting uh, so we have to check also if it is a car it is a ferrari model and if it is certified as boolean okay so we have a true or false value to see if is a certified ferrari or not and then we have return true or false and you can increase the the levels here and it can become a big chain and if and else and if and ifs and else and then we have the guard clause where you simply add one line of code that is if it is not certified we return false so it's not a car false it's not ferrari false as we are here we just go further if it is a car and a ferrari and we just see if it is certified or not if it isn't we return false if it is certified we go further in the execution and return true let me uncomment this code it is the same type of logic as above we have cars and then the first card is a ford one uh, and is certified car number two is a ferrari one and certified the car number three is a ferrari but it is not certified and the last one is a bike even though it is certified so using the 
the first function, the certified one and the card close. Let me run this. You can see that we have that first car is not a Ferrari. The second one it is and the other ones don't because they must be certified and the, the third one is not. And we have the exactly same result from the uh, function where we are using the guard clause approach. And of course I'm using these lots of console logs here but you can use a for loop to check that basically for you create an array and you can have the same logs uh, by using these fours basically you print the car name then if it is certified or not and if i comment this out just if you want to have a for loop for that you can see uh sorry i need to let me clean that and now i've missed oh okay <laughs> Sorry for that. Now it should work. Yeah. So we need to have the objects <laughs> declared. We have the car that is not a Ferrari. The second one is the only one. And here with the certified guard clause function, the second one is the only one that is a Ferrari car. So this is it. I hope you can change your way of coding and start applying this to have a better code and we will meet in the next video.